All right, let them know who you are. Jamil Parker from YSM Sports Media, and we're on Towns Biz Sports and Entertainment. All right, bro, listen, you're known as the Jerron Ennis channel, right? Yeah, yeah everybody bro, calls going, you the Boots channel. No, but bro, I've gone back and forth from uh, the Boots channel to the Greg Hackett channel. <laughs> it's it's channel. like the it's it's like the Boots channel, but you have the Greg Hackett series under the umbrella of the I'm, channel. I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, under the conglomerate of I the channel. You. If I'm considered the Boots channel, I'll take it. Yeah, you could take it. All right, so I just want to be, be real quick with you and just ask uh, your assessment of the event being in your hometown, Philly, and I want you to give Jerron Ennis a grade with his first fight with Matchroom. All right, so uh, first, he's the first fighter ever to headline at the Wells Fargo. And the fact that he did it coming off of being in a small room of the boardwalk hall, it's, it's fucking amazing. Like, um, early on, you can see there, there was something different, something special about this kid. So him putting 14,000 in Wells Fargo, I'm not surprised. Like, he is a special fighter. He's one of those guys that is going to define his era of boxing. Like, you've seen guys, you know, start fighting like Roy. Guys start fighting like Mike. Guys start fighting like Floyd. You're going to see the, the 10, 12, 13-year-olds, they're going to fight like boots. But as far as the performance, a um, little rusty. Um, he got caught with some shots that he wouldn't normally get caught with. But he's engaging, pushing the fight. He was looking for the stoppage, and that's what he got. Stopped him in the fifth round. Terrence Crawford stopped him in the sixth. And I know that's not quite a measuring stick, but if you're, if you're doing something that Terrence Crawford is doing or you do it slightly better, that puts you in great company. Okay. All right. So we here, and it's in y'all hometown. Just give me the, uh, just what's the what's the vibe like? What's the feeling in the city of Philadelphia right now? The feeling is that we have the next guy, right? So you got your, you know, your, your Ray Robinsons, your Ray Leonard's, your Floyd's, Crawford's, your Boots. He's the next guy. And the last question I'm gonna ask. I don't want to take up too much of your time. You know, you guys haven't had a superstar of this magnitude, a potential superstar of this magnitude since Allen Iverson, right? Do you think that Boots can reach that level of AI and be Philly's champion like AI was? We haven't seen anything like this since Kobe, right? AI's from Virginia, so mm -hmm. respect to AI. Kobe's from Southwest Philly. Oh, we got, I got it. I got it. Thank, yeah. thank you for correcting me. Yeah, so this is, yes, this this is on par. If one, if I could describe him in one way, Kobe. This, this is what you're watching. You're watching a freak of nature that works extremely hard, that's dedicated, that's a serial killer to his craft. And, yo, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm blessed to come around at this particular time, yo. Cause it's like, it, it, it's like being in the gym with Kobe and Laura Marion and, and getting to record it. Like that shit is gonna t stand the test of time. So, yo, yo I'm, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Last but not least, let everybody know where they could tune in, where they could follow you. Matter of fact, it's on the back of your t-shirt. Oh, yeah. YSM Sports Media, uh, that's on across all platforms. You got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, especially YouTube. Um, yeah, man, check us out. Give us a play, man. I, I appreciate any view, even if it's like five seconds, I appreciate it. Listen, I, nobody ever this guy doesn't go on camera he rarely does and i got him to go this is my main man 50 grand right here i got him to go on camera too he didn't want to do no, it I, and i got him to go on camera i don't like doing it because my channel isn't about me you got content creators that you know they make the 